yeah, yeah, something, uh, something happened today, and uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> What is up, Finn fans? Yes, if you can tell by the title, I had the opportunity today, today to talk and interview with an active Miami Dolphin. Yes, I interviewed Richmond Webb, one of the greats, should be Hall of Famer, Ring of Honor, best left tackle to ever play the game, one of them. But today, I got to interview and talk to Vince Beagle, the Miami Dolphins outside linebacker, fourth year, uh, this going into his fourth year. Drafted out of Michigan to the Green Bay Packers, then goes to the Saints, and then last year, one of the last moves we did, we send Kiko Alonso to the Saints, and we get Vince Beagle. Now, this guy's no slouch. There's a reason I reached out to him. There's a reason why all this happened. First off, I saw his tweet where he uh, went against his brother, who used to play left tackle in college, and completely owned him. I'm going to pop the tweet up. So then I reacted, laughed to it. He laughed back at me. I said, hey, man, you have five, ten minutes to come on the channel? He said, let's do it. And now we're getting the video. So, yes, Vince Beagle, I'm going to jump into the interview. Great, great, great guy. I'm very appreciative. You'll, you'll hear me boast about his stats while talking to him. Very down-to-earth Wisconsin guy. Cold weather guy, just like me being up in Jersey. Let's jump into the interview. So if you guys could see, I got the one and only Vince Beagle here. Vince, thank you so, so very much for being on the channel. You have no idea how much it means to me. <laughs> hey, appreciate you guys having me on, man. Thanks again. Definitely, definitely. So we're just gonna we're gonna hang out, chat for a little bit, gonna ask you a few questions. First thing, you know, we got the quarantine going on. It's pretty much changing how sports are as of now and meetings and stuff. How are you doing with the quarantine? And, you know, we saw the, the Twitter videos of you going against your brother and your father. You know, how are you staying in shape and, and how are you doing with all this? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Quarantine's definitely been interesting. And I think, you know, each NFL player in the NFL is kind of going through something different. Um, as you can see, I'm actually back home, Wisconsin Rapids. Um, I'm back on the Cranberry Marsh, back where it all started. Um, which has kind of been, was, which has kind of been, been, been you know, refreshing. Uh, but this time around, I'm with my wife and my daughter, so I have them here with me. Um, and it's been just, it's been really nice to be able to spend some unexpected time with family and friends, you know, close to home. Obviously, practicing safe um, and responsible uh, social distancing. Um, but you know, I think you know, from a workout standpoint. You know, players have really have to get, you know, uh, creative in how they go about their training. Um, you know, gyms are shut down. I, I, that's the reason why I'm, I'm in Wisconsin. All the gyms down in South Florida, the Miami Dolphins facility, all my gyms in Florida got shut down. So I, we packed up and, and headed back to Wisconsin where I've been training here at home. And and obviously I've been having a few of my family members as as some of the, my practicing uh, uh, practicing partners on the field and having fun with it. Uh, that that one against your brother was you you took him out <laughs> that one was a good one <laughs> you know what he uh my brother's offensive to kind of give you guys a little backdrop on the story um my brother played offensive tackle at wisconsin we played there together at the same time so we always would actually go against each other in practice and we would be talking crap to each other so um you know hayden you know hayden's been working a, a normal job now and, you know, he's been kind of talking a little crap. He saw I beat my dad with the one-on-one, so he won his shot. And um, I'll let the viewers, uh, uh, you know, determine who won that one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, a, it's pretty obvious on that one. But be, being that you're, uh, you're from Wisconsin, you know, this was going to be actually like one of my last questions, but I thought to bring it up now. You're from Wisconsin, you know, got you know, played college in Wisconsin. You're now in Florida in Miami. Now, I'm from New Jersey. I'm, I'm surrounded by dolphin stuff, but I'm up in New Jersey. So, you know, me and you, cold weather guys, what is it like training and playing in Miami, especially in September and July? You know, that's a great question. And I don't know the July part because I got traded right before the season started. September 1st, I got traded. So um, I can't speak on July, but what I can say about September is it is hot. And um, 
you have to train in it to be prepared for it. So, you know, once, once this, once the lockdown and starts easing up down in South Florida and I can get down there as soon as I want to get down there as soon as I can to mm. be able to train and acclimate my body so that I can get myself ready to play in that South Florida weather. Because like you said, playing in South Florida and playing up in New Jersey or up in Wisconsin, that's a totally different animal. And whether you're, you know, whether the, the fans realize or not, as an athlete, that plays huge on how you're conditioned, how you know, your hydration levels are, how your body adapts to stresses is a big part of, you know, the environment which you're playing in. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And like you said, that big trade, we sent Kiko to the Saints, we picked up you, which I'm not going to not kissing your butt now, but it was, I was very static when we made that trade. You're one of my favorite Dolphin defensive players right now. Breakout, breakout year with the team. You know, you led the team in quarterback hits. You are third in the team with sacks, 59 total tackles. What is it like, you know, being coached under Brian Flores and have you had to run to that TNT wall at any point? <laughs> all, all great questions. Um, I think for me, I'm, I'm super ecstatic about with Coach Flo because he actually came to Wisconsin um, and, and worked out myself and TJ Watt when he was the defensive coordinator for the Patriots. So mm-hmm. Coach Flo and I, we've had a little bit of a you know, relationship, not saying that you know, we were super tight. You know, they didn't, the Patriots didn't draft me, but um, you know, we have some familiarity with one another. And um, for me, I was just extremely thankful to finally get an opportunity to be able to start and, and you know, show what I can do in the NFL. And, you know, for me, the biggest thing I'm excited about, you know, yes, I had some nice numbers, but there was also a ton of opportunities that where I was just so close. Yeah. And there's also a ton of room for me to grow um, as a player, as a leader, you know, in so many areas on the team. So that's what I'm, you know, most looking forward to, you know, this coming year. And, you know, as, as a player, it's also important when you have a little bit of success, you know, you see sometimes, sometimes guys fall off. Yeah. It's important for myself to continue to kind of keep the blinders on, continue to stay focused, continue to grind it and do what, you know, do the things and the, the, the small things that got me to where I'm at. And, um, you know, I'm excited about what the future holds in Miami and I'm going to continue to, to, to help out the team any way I can. Definitely. Definitely. So like, like you said, you know, it's, this is your first year with us to, you know, sky's the limit you know you just keep building with the addition you were you were in uh, a late season well late you know off season addition you know we made the trade and have have you talked I don't know if you I don't know if you heard the news but the Miami Dolphins drafted to a tongue of Iloa um, <laughs> have you uh, talked to any of the free agents that came in or any of the draftees have you been in communication or has it been like kind of quiet yeah, so we started our Zoom meetings up about four weeks ago, going on week four of Zoom. So I haven't physically met any of the players yet or the free agents that we just recently acquired, but I have talked to them over Zoom and we've met each other and, you know, we're in our group chats already. So, um, you know, I think Coach Flo and the Miami Dolphins organization is doing a great job of bringing the right type of players um, into the organization who are going to help us on and off the field win football games. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, the schedule came out a few weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago. Being an NFL player, I know us as fans, we, as soon as the schedule comes out, we check it, who we play in, you know, when it's the buy, all that stuff. Do you guys do the same thing? Like, do you guys like look for a buy? And like, when do you guys prefer the buy? You know, on my channel, I talked about, hey, I'd prefer the Dolphins to have like eight, nine week buy, you know, give you guys time to rest and stuff. Like, when do you guys prefer it? Like, and do you look at certain games and think like, oh, I'm excited to play that game? Um, you know, your coach, you're always co- coached to take it one week at a time, right? Mm-hmm. That's the coach in us. But I think all of us humans, we look forward to certain games. Um, you know, I looking at the schedule, I, I, I am honestly just look, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to all the games, but one of the games I was actually kind of looking forward to was the Vegas one, just because, you know, it's a new stadium. Yeah. Um, you know, I know it's during the Christmas time and um, I've only, I've only been through Vegas one time and, and I think it'd just be a great environment. You know, I, I guess that's just the only game that really stood out to me, not just be, not because of any coaches or, you know, riffs or anything, but just, I think it'd be just an awesome environment and I'm looking forward to playing, always looking forward to playing at new stadiums and, and what the NFL is hosting. So that's one game that kind of stood out to me um, as well. The other 16 games, but speaking from a bye standpoint, I always like to have a bye week, you know, I'm going on my year four 
Um, last year, the Dolphins had an earlier bye week, yeah. um, which was good for me because I came in and that week gave me a, a week to move into my house fully. So I was really thankful for that week early. Um, now, you know, being, you know, being settled down in, in, in South Florida now, having a bye week in the middle to later half the season, that's ideal. You know, you, you, want, you want to be able to get a good stretch in and let your body heal for one week before the last final push. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, you know, I like I said, I greatly appreciate you coming on, giving me the time. You know, you had the meetings today, and you actually like gave me a good like, good a couple minutes to interview. I greatly appreciate. Is there anything you know you're working on charity wise? Anything you want to let my subscribers know? Maybe shout something out before you get out of here. Yeah, absolutely, I, and I appreciate you giving me a chance to to talk to your uh, listeners. Um, I'm actually doing uh, one thing right now with uh, a local. Um, individual in my community we're doing uh, she, she is uh, wheelchair bound with, with Down syndrome and her family doesn't have a wheelchair accessible van so uh, community members and myself have been raising money to help uh, pull together and, and buy a purchase a, a wheelchair accessible van for her moving forward and her family so if you guys go anywhere on my on my uh, Twitter page or my, on my Instagram um, you guys will see all the details there and what I'm doing is Every $25 donated, you're, you're one drawing into a Miami Dolphins jersey. Nice. You know, and also being a hometown kid, uh, I'm also doing a drawing for a Green Bay Packer jersey because that's what I, I played there my rookie year. So we're doing um, a winner for Miami Dolphins jersey and a winner for the, the Green Bay Packer jersey. And um, anyway, uh, any, anything that you guys donate will be greatly appreciated or even just a message uh, reaching out just to support the cause will be greatly appreciated, you guys. Definitely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link that below, guys. Be sure to go over, you know, help out. Like you said, anything you could donate, reach out, anything. I'll link it below. Be sure to go out and help Vince. Thank you so much for coming on, dude. I really, really appreciate it. And, you know, I hope you have a great season. And like you said, I hope you just keep building on those numbers and keep racking them up, man. Hey, appreciate you guys having me on. And it was great chatting with you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Again, thank you so, so very much, Vince. You have no idea how much it means for you to come on the channel to give us the time. He literally said to me that five minutes before he came on to do this interview that he was doing the Zoom uh, meeting with his position coach. So it's just, it's it's awesome that he gave the time. And yes, the, the um, giveaway and the uh, fundraiser is linked below. Please go check it out. You know, if you can donate, It'd mean the world. You know, you have a chance to win a Vince Beagle, a Dolphin, or Packer jersey. So be sure below. But comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if I can get more do current Dolphins on here, if I can get more Farmer Dolphins on here, I'm going to do it for you guys. It below. I, I, I don't know if you could tell, but I was very like, oh, I can't believe I'm talking to Vince Beagle. But I have to get over that because I have to be professional. I'm not going to be professional, but be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about what Vince had to say about the team, about bye weeks, about how he's preparing, about everything. Be sure to comment below, and I'm going to get to one of you guys' comments of the day. This comment comes from Twitter. Now, I you know, thought, hey, let me give the Twitter streets a chance. I've been taking a lot of comments from here in the YouTubers. So I went to Twitter, and I asked you guys, hey, hit me up for a comment of the day. And this one comes from Dan Robbins, and he says to me, hashtag comment of the day, who will be the returning kicks for us this year if you had to guess? Hopefully not Jakeem McFumblehands. <laughs> and essentially, he means Jakeem Grant. Um, I honestly think it probably will be leaning towards Jakeem Grant, uh, depending on if they want to focus on him at receiver, if they want to focus keeping him and predominantly having him at receiver. But bringing back Albert Wilson's, uh, Albert Wilson. And all that stuff. You might have Malcolm Perry being a kick returner. He might be a jack of all trades with this team. You might have some of the undrafted guys. You might have Brandon Jones, who also during college has done some kick return work. To say who's going to be the kick returner is hard as of right now. I know when I did my depth chart video, a lot of you guys were like, hey, what about kickers, punters, kick returners? Um, and the reason I didn't really address kick returner is because whoever's the best back there will get back there. You know, I, do, I honestly don't think it should be a starter. Now, you said, but hey, Doug, you said Jakeem Grant. Jakeem Grant, yeah, I, for me, the starting wide right receivers are Devontae Parker, Preston Williams, and Albert Wilson. I don't consider Jakeem Grant a starting wide receiver. So to have him back there, but like 
Dan said, McFumble hands, he tends to drop the ball a lot. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, Malcolm Perry is an option. Uh, Brandon Jones is an option. The third round pick. We have even some of the undrafted wide receivers are an option. That is the t- if you watch hard knocks, if you watch these, you know, programs and stuff, the best way for you to make the team if you're undrafted late round pick, which not a lot of our late round picks are big, fast guys. We win a lot of defensive tackle, uh, offensive linemen, but um, a lot of these late round picks, undrafted guys, the best way for you to make the team, special teams, get down the field as a run, as a gunner, make that tackle, you block, or you are a kick returner. So it's a good question, Dan. Thank you for that question. But like usual, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's how I talk to Vince Beagle. You know, he's a great guy. I'm going to po- post his Twitter as well. Go check him out if you aren't already, which I feel like you definitely are. But be sure to go check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the Bit Boys. We're trying to do some more new fun things over there. So be sure to go over and check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It's a video game channel with a lot of humor. Some of it, most of it's adult humor. So if you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, give this video a thumbs up. I can't believe I had the opportunity to interview an active Miami Dolphin, and yet one of the young and up-and-coming defensive players. So give this video a thumbs up for that. I'm going to try to get more Dolphins on here. I'm going to try to get some more past Dolphins on here. I'm going to try to do as much as I can for you guys on this channel. Uh, I got a lot planned, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out DolphinsTalk.com. Very, very great site. Ton of Dolphin content over there. Hit that subscribe button. Got a lot planned. My Ricky Williams video is going to come out this weekend talking about the life and the career of him. The misunderstanding about what happened with him. That's coming out this weekend. I'm going to bring in a fantasy football guy, talk fantasy football. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Got a lot planned. And also be sure to hit that bell. You don't hit the bell. You don't really know when the video comes out or when I'm going live. I'm probably going to be going live uh, either Friday this week or next week, but be sure to do that. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, but like usual, stay classy. Fins up.